Hello, I'm Mr. Ropes, Ropes for short. Who are you? Oh, it's Aww. nice to meet you, Mr. Ropes. I'm Karen, I'm the executive director of the Penobscot Marine Museum. Nice to meet you too. I'm a cat and I live at the Penobscot Marine Museum. What are you doing, Mr. Ropes? I'm thinking about potatoes. Do you like potatoes? Oh, I love potatoes. How about you? I like potatoes too. What's your favorite way to eat potatoes? Well, I like potatoes a lot of different ways, but I really love them with butter and herbs. How about you? How do you like your potatoes? I like potato chips. Mm -hmm. Did you know Maine grows a lot of potatoes? I did know that. Have you heard the story of how potatoes came to Maine? No, I haven't. Do you know much about it? I happen to have made a puppet show about it. Do you want to see it? Oh, I would love to. A long, long time ago, there were no potatoes in Maine. Aww. Then one day the potato arrived. Yay. Yay! The potato came to Maine with Scott Irish immigrants. They settled mostly in southern Maine and later came to the mid coast area. But it wasn't a good potato variety. It was a small reddish potato that people only ate because they had to. But soon, better potato varieties came to Maine. Almost every farmer grew potatoes. By 1820, Maine potatoes were put on ships and sailed to Boston for people there to eat. Maine farmers grew more and more potatoes. Yay! Yay. It was hard to be a potato in Maine. Rocks grew better than potatoes. And then disaster struck. Oh, Oh, no. no! In 1844, potatoes started getting sick. In some places, nine out of 10 potatoes rotted in the ground or in storage. It was a potato disease called the late blight. Maine farmers almost gave up on potatoes. Don't Don't give up, up. you can do it. By 1860, Maine farmers had found potatoes resistant to blight and also figured out ways to reduce the disease. More and more potatoes were raised in Maine. Yay! Yay! But after 1870, the farmers in southern and mid-coast Maine grew fewer and fewer potatoes. Oh, Oh, no! no. Why? There was a new arrival in Maine. He was from Colorado, and he had slowly been traveling east. He was the Colorado potato beetle. He used to eat wild potatoes, but when settlers brought potatoes to Colorado, he thoroughly enjoyed eating them. I love potatoes. I slowly moved east, reaching Iowa in 1865 and Ohio in 1870. I arrived in Maine in 1876. Aside from a short boom, potatoes never became an important crop in central, western, and southern Maine, except in a few small isolated areas. What What about that spot spot up there? there? Ah, you have noticed. Aroostook County, Canada and the U.S. fought over that land. The first road didn't arrive until 1828, and it wasn't until 1894 that the Bangor and Aroostook Railroad connected the county to American ports. Aroostook County farmers found the land good for farming. They grew clover, buckwheat, oats, and hay. When the railroad came, they were able to transport potatoes, so they began growing more potatoes. Yay! Yay! Potatoes grew very well in Aroostook County, and soon it became their primary harvest. 
The land and climate was perfect for potatoes. Farmers found ways to deal with the potato beetle. Arista County became the potato empire of the East. Wow, that was really interesting. The co that Colorado potato beetle was a little scary. Oh, I agree. And the late blight was scary too. I'm so glad that Maine farmers found a way to still grow potatoes. Me too. Mr. Ropes, I heard that you traveled a lot on merchant ships. Did you ever have a cargo load of potatoes? Maybe once or twice. That reminds me, instead of doing a craft this week, I have a joke to share with you. Oh, I love jokes. Please. Why did the sea monster eat three sailing ships with cargoes full of potatoes. Hmm, I don't know why. Because you can't eat just one potato ship. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Did you know that potatoes from Aroostook County were shipped from Stockton Springs right near where we are at the Penobscot Marine Museum? I didn't. Tell me more. Well, it's pretty amazing. In 1905, the Bangor and Aroostook Railroad built a connecting line from Cape Jellison, which is not far from here. They primarily shipped potatoes grown in Aroostook County and lumber sawn in Bangor. There was a big potato warehouse in Stockton Springs, too. It was thought to be the largest potato house in the whole United States in 1910. Interesting. That must have looked really cool. Yeah, it was amazing. I have a photo if you'd like to see it. Yes, please. That is really big. Thanks Isn't for it? Yeah. Thanks for showing me. And thank you to everyone in the audience at home for joining us today. This is our last puppet show for now. We hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Bye, thanks.